and welcome to a Heroes of New Earth Hero Spotlight on Emerald Warden, a long-range agility hero with an arsenal of spirit creatures at his disposal. Let's start with an in-depth look at his abilities. Emerald Warden's first skill is a single target silencing shot. He shoots an arrow at a foe, dealing his normal attack plus a small magic damage bonus. While little more than an extra attack, the silence in itself is quite useful, and the casting range on the skill at 700 is slightly longer than his normal attack range. At the very least, this is always a skill that you'll want to train one or more points into, since it's useful for virtually any PvP interaction. Since the arrow is a projectile with a short delay after being cast, it can be disjointed, but can also be played to its strengths and used to cancel enemy channeling abilities that are targeting you, if timed well. Warden's second ability is a long-range magic damage nuke. Summoning up to two spirit wolves at max level, they will seek out and damage the nearest enemy heroes in 2000 range, slowing movement speed on impact. This spell will hit enemies through Fog of War, but not if they're invisible. If you're chasing a hero into the tree line, this can be an easy way to track where they've gone by following the path and direction of the wolves. This spell is useful as a way to snipe off heroes without needing sight of them. By predicting the damage it'll deal, you can ensure kills by luring enemies in and comboing its usage with silencing shot. Warden's third ability, Overgrowth, sets a vine trap on the ground. When stepped on, any units within the 200 radius on activation are held in place for up to 4 seconds at max level, and take damage over time. In order to escape without taking the full damage and immobilize, a hero can attack the vine twice to kill it. These can be placed strategically to hold enemies in place, whether chasing or running from a battle. There is a short setup time before an overgrowth becomes ready for use, so this may require you to predict their movement in advance. Emerald Warden's ultimate summons an uncontrollable familiar that automatically follows you and carries out special moves under certain circumstances. Gawain usually lags slightly behind your movement, but provides clear vision around himself, allowing you to see over trees and obstacles in a small radius. At each level, Gawain gains a new ability. Each of these abilities will go off whenever they're not on cooldown and do not require action or resources on the hero's part. The first of Gawain's abilities is Diving Strike. Whenever an enemy hero comes within 650 distance of the hawk, not the hero itself, it will strike dealing up to 300 damage at max level. The cooldown on its attack reduces with each rank, down to 6 seconds at level 16. Forest's Touch is unlocked at Hero level 11, giving the Hawk the ability to grant you 200 HP plus a small attack and movement speed boost when you drop below 40% health. The boost lasts a few seconds and has a relatively long cooldown. At Hero level 16, Emerald Storm is unlocked, giving Gowan the ability to channel an area effect storm that hits up to two enemy heroes, dealing damage and slowing their move speed. In combination with Diving Strike, the Hawk can deal a decent sum of burst damage on its own. With the help of his Familiar and Hunter's Command, the Warden holds a clear advantage in any tree cluster. It becomes almost impossible to juke into Fog of War through the tree line and avoid Emerald Warden's attacks. Hunter's Command, in particular, is probably the first skill you should prioritize ranking up at early levels, with its exceptionally long range and magic damage output. The movement speed slow is also especially effective for getting an extra hit in afterwards. The silencing shot, while also exceptionally powerful, you can usually settle with a single rank of for cancelling enemy channeling spells. The damage doesn't scale much with level, and higher overgrowth levels provide more damage, immobilize, and map vision. Thanks for watching. Check for further skill and item build notes in the video description, and don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment.